Hey guys, my name's Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I'm working on a Dell Chromebook 11. The exact model is a CB1C13. I'm gonna show you how to get inside, access your battery. So first thing, power down your computer the correct way. Make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. We're then gonna flip it over to access our bottom case screws. You have these two screws here, these two here, and these three in the middle. I'm gonna go through now and take out all those screws. Once all the screws have been removed, I'm gonna take my small flat metal pry tool and I'm gonna go on this seam and pop up the bottom case from the rest of the computer. So the seam is right there on the edge. So that came up fairly easily and there's nothing on the bottom, it's just the bottom case, bottom panel. After we get our bottom panel up, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. Now as a general repair side note guys, whenever I'm working on a computer in my shop, it's sitting on an anti-static mat. Either that or an anti-static bracelet are great ideas to avoid damaging the computer when you're working on it. If you need any help with tools or supplies for your computer project, as well as any of these replacement parts for this specific model computer, there'll be a link above, also below in the description, where all those tools and supplies and replacement parts will be in one list. So here's your battery down here. It's held in by these two screws on the bottom, this screw in the corner, and this screw on top. So I'm gonna undo those screws. Now after undoing those screws, the battery can come up just a little bit. And even though it's best in a computer to never actually pull on the wires when unplugging something, you always want to try to manipulate the plug and not the wires. This is so short and there's no real grips on that plug. So to get the battery out of that port, you would have to just slowly, gently try to wiggle it out like that, which is not ideal, but in this computer, that, that's what you have to do. If you guys want the battery spec information for a replacement, I will have it below in the description. I will also have a replacement battery below in that link I told you about with all the replacement parts for this model computer. I guess the last thing that I can shout out about this operation is if you're here because your computer's not turning on, it appears dead, no power, maybe you see some LED lights lighting up, but no other signs of life, it could be that the battery is bad and needs to be replaced, but it also could be something else. Most of the time a computer will still turn on and function when the battery is just dead. So if you guys want, I'll have a video up top, also below in the description. It'll show you how to troubleshoot a computer that's not turning on in case it's something else other than just the battery. So that's the video, I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, try the FAQs below in the description first. It could save you some time getting an answer. But if you do need to leave me a question or comment, please do. I do try to get to those a couple times a day at least. And as always, please remember to like and share if this was helpful, if you think it can help someone else. Feel free to subscribe if you enjoy DIY computer content like this. And for those of you that want to support the channel a little further, there's a couple different ways you can do that. First, right below the video to the right hand side, you'll see the super thanks button. You can click on that. You can select a tip amount here. Second way, you can use your cash app. Find me at dollar sign PC helper. You can leave a dollar amount and you can even leave a little note. Thanks so much for watching guys. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.